My name is Zayana Lunsport and I am interviewing Tracy Rogers, who is running for the Board of Education on November 8th. What are you running, why are you running for the Board of Education? I believe education is one of the strongest things that a child has, which gives them opportunity to open up their, their lives for anything they want. And I'm running because I've raised my kids and I instilled that same thing. And I think there was a need in Asbury Park to help other kids in Asbury Park their position. So I'm stepping forward to try to instill in this community, in the school district, the same values I put into my own children. That they can be anything they want and with education that can happen. Do you agree with school uniforms? Do you understand how difficult it was for the students and parents to make the changes to the school uniforms and problems that have arisen because of it? Right now, I thought when the, the, the school policy for uniforms came in, I thought the, the children who were the ones that's gonna be wearing it should have been brought into the conversation. My, my thought is that you guys are gonna wear it. We might have a reason why, but we need to explain it. And you explain what issues that are gonna come up and we come up with a plan together. And I understand that didn't happen. I think you guys have to be an integral part in everything that goes on because this is your lives and this is what you expect out of your school. Okay. Why do you propose, what do you propose to do to encourage the administration to listen to teachers and students? <clears throat> well, as, as a board member, what my ability is, is to create policy. And in policy, I create I, I, identities and proposals that formulate that conversation. That you have to have committees. That you have to have certain people on these committees. That you have to have outreach to the community. So the thing that I'm going to do, and also from the outside, I'm going to I'm going to be reaching out to the community to make sure that their needs are being met. That means the students, the parents. And I'm gonna bring that back to the administration to let them know. And if it's not, then we have to make decisions that are gonna formulate how that's gonna happen. How come we aren't offered extracurricular activities? What will you do to improve that if you are selected? Well, first of all, I'm coming back to you personally. And we're gonna have a conversation on things that you want because I went to a high school where we were different, but part of our curriculum was we had a, a part of the year where we can ask for certain things that we never did before. And they would try to cater to our, our needs to bring, bring people in that would fit that. I want to do this all year, so you develop patterns and each year change and you pick up more, more opportunities to have outside programs that you guys ask for. And we also suggest some things that you guys have never thought of. We're adults, so we know what the world is like, but we want you to be involved because that opens up opportunities for you. What will you do to encourage re renovations at the AP school system? Are you aware of the needs for the facilities, up for the facility upgrades? What is your plan to get it done? right now that's that's part of my responsibility as a board member when i get in is that i have to have a 10-year facility plan we have to make sure that we know what the needs and changes are in that plan i don't know if the school actually continually does what they're supposed to do but we're supposed to evaluate it every 10 years and that 10 years goes into making sure that we're looking forward as to what we're going to need and what we're proposing that the school will be looking like in 10 years prior. So I'm going to be pushing first day that someone's going to get me a plan and we're all going to have a community meeting to talk about how we're going to effectively get all of this done. That would be all my questions for today.
thank you and I appreciate it. <laughs> and it was great being interviewed. And like I said, we're gonna sit down.